Metropolitan Special Police Constable who managed to prove just how special she is after she was convicted in November of four counts of assault by beating and one count of assault on an emergency worker has faced her misconduct hearing last week. Very special constable Fatma Ahmed attended a house party in May last year in breach of Covid regulations where she got herself blottoed. Whilst in a drunken state, Ahmed launched a series of unwanted of unwarranted assaults against four members of the public, hitting them, biting them and placing her hands round their throat. It's said that the assaults happened inside and outside the property where the party was being held and that some of the people assaulted were neighbours and were not party goers. Very special Ahmed is said to have been so violent that five calls were made to police and when they arrived she assaulted one of the constables who attended. She was convicted in November at Wimbledon Magistrates Court where the magistrate described the incident as an appalling series of events and issued her an 18 month community order. At her misconduct hearing held last week, the panel heard that the four members of the public she assaulted were injured during the incident and her behaviour was such that she could have caused lasting physical and psychological harm to them, as well as the initial injuries. Assistant Commissioner Helen Ball said Ahmed chose to drink extremely heavily. She was warned several times or asked to stop her behaviour. She either had drunk so much that she could not control herself or she chose to continue the behaviour. Either way, she had repeated opportunities to consider what she was she had repeated opportunities to consider what she was doing while drinking and while assaulting a series of people and stop and even better stop and apologize. But she did not do so. She was wholly responsible for what she did and her culpability is therefore high. Ahmed's behaviour will have undermined the public confidence in policing among the officers and witnesses who were present that evening. Five calls were made to the police. They saw a person who had said she was a police officer carrying out a series of unwarranted and drunken assaults. This will have undermined the dignity of her office, causing serious harm to the reputation of the profession as a whole. Of course, in the usual manner that we expect these things to pan out, Ahmed resigned from the force after the incident and before the misconduct hearing. The hearing decided that she had discredited herself and the Metropolitan Police Service and, had she not already resigned, she would have been sacked for gross misconduct. Yet again, proving to other police who decide to act inappropriately that their actions won't be tolerated. Unless, of course, they leave before their misconduct hearing then they can pretty much get away with it. Now, a quick search on the College of Policing's bar list fails to bring any mentions for a Fatima Ahmed, showing again that either they can't be bothered to keep the list updated, or she, the violent and aggressive pisshead, hasn't been placed on it at all. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as no many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.